Oman is a country located in the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula, and it has breathtaking nature and a vast cultural diversity that makes this country pleasant to travel. So this is what I'm going to do for the next three days with two of my friends. Let this journey begin! The official name of the country is the Sultanate of Oman. It has a huge land territory with a hundred of hidden gems around the country and its population not more than 4.5 million people. Hey, what's up guys? Vasily is here and welcome back to my new episode. And here we are with my friends. Nastasia, say hello. Yeah guys, here we are with my friends. We finally reached our first stop, Hata City. So guys, uh, just Oman border in a couple of kilometers from here. We're just gonna reach there by, I don't know, in 15, 20 minutes maybe. And we're gonna cross the border and go to Oman. My friends and I started off our trip from Dubai to Muscat through Hatta land border crossing. After 20 minutes at the border we got our visa and all needed stamps so we can continue our road trip to our first destination point such as Muscat, the capital of Oman. So here we are already in Oman, if to be more precise in Sultanate of Oman with two of my besties here. Stas, thank you for recording this video and yeah. guys just few updates quickly about the procedures of passing through custom border like in general passing through the border is like uh, process takes you maybe like 15 minutes to 20 minutes so we just pay like extra fees you can even apply on a spot for the visa what we did what we did actually so we just pay like five uh, omani reals per person per visa it's like uh, i don't know like 47 dirhams ue dirhams so after that we quickly jump in in a car pass through like detailed check uh, check in but they didn't even check uh, properly our car usually so I have even have my drone under my seat so guys I'm trying to make my best to do some pretty nice footage in Oman especially from body shop which is my main reason why I'm here actually what I'm doing in Oman there we're going to Moscat gonna stay there for a night and see you guys in a bit Hey, what's up guys? Sorry. Yo, what's up guys? So here we are. We finally reached to Oman and right now we're on the way to really hidden uh, village called by something Bal Sayed. And right now we are locating at... Uh, which city is this? We are nearby Rustak city looking for some <laughs> toilet for uh, Anastasia to, to do some things and... Uh, so here we are guys, we just entered the local restaurant called Al Pasha something, so we just got some... Local Turkish restaurant. <laughs> so here we came in a local Al Pasha restaurant with the Turkish cuisine. Mutabal. Just having some snacks as a, such as a Mutabal and Karak Chai. After a quick bite, after a quick bite, we're gonna continue our journey to the village located in the in the mountains, on the slope of the mountain, with the huge oasis over there. So stay here, stay tuned. In Muscat, we're going to stay one night and planning to spend only a few hours to explore the city. We decided to start exploring the city with Mutra area. If to be more precise, with Mutra Fort. So guys, here we are. Finally, we reach our room, hotel room for the night, for the first night in Oman. After six or seven even hours of driving from Dubai straight to Oman, guys, this is really nice moment to be here and just to enjoy the night in Oman. So guys, gonna see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna start the full day 
the second day in Oman and gonna experience a lot of different touristic sites, especially natural ones, such as uh, Bima Obama sinkhole, and then we're gonna go to Wadi Shops, and also we're gonna move to another city or another village located in the eastern part of uh, Persian Gulf uh, Peninsula. <laughs> The first impression of the Mutra area and in general of the country was wow, literally it's nice. The mountains and local architecture makes this place special. Regarding local people, Omani is very calm and friendly. We just started off our day with uh, visiting one of the ancient forts in Muscat. And yeah, here we are. Just have a look at the fort, guys. It looks really sunny, amazing, full of history. And now we're gonna visit it. So guys, we just paid like 20 dirham per person. It's about like two dinars in local currencies. And now we can explore this magnificent fort just by, by ourselves. And a couple of hundreds of steps leading you up on the mountain. And you can see this beauty. As what I noticed here in Mutra Fort actually is these hand-crafted doors. It's like traditional Omani style doors and many of them I saw in the beginning of the year when I traveled to Zanzibar. As you might know that Zanzibar was colonized by Omani like a few centuries ago and it has been such a big influence by Omani in Zanzibar and that's why you can see a lot of Omani doors in Zanzibar. It's really really nice and actually I fall in love with these kind of doors. After a quick observation of the fort and surrounding areas we hopped in the car and continued driving to the east of the country to the next attraction called Bima Singh Hall. Bima Singh Hall is naturally self-made limestone cave with a crystal clear water in it located 128 kilometers to the east from Muscat. It's a good place to be and it's just mind-blowing when you see it from the sky. It's literally a big hole in the ground. So, what's up guys? Finally we reached this place after about two hours of driving from Muscat to Bima. So we finally reached this place. This is the Bima Singh Hole, the natural, natural attraction over here. To enter this place actually is like really easy, no, no need to pay. No need to pay any any fee, so it's really free and but guys consider that it's gonna be really full of people, really crowded. Did you enjoy the place? I hope you guys did because this really fantastic area. And we are done with that. Just going back to the car and gonna drive to the eastern part of Oman and just gonna do check-in for the hotel and after that we're gonna try to catch another place before the sunset so it's gonna be Wadi Halid Wadi Halid Oasis whatever I don't know exactly the name but anyway so we're gonna go there now Nasty did you Nasty, did you enjoy the so natural yes. attraction here? Such a nice place how's the very fish? happy how's, to be how's here. the fish in, in the water? Amazing! <laughs> what I noticed, all the famous sites that located in Oman spread in a far distance from each other and it's time consuming. That's why you can see my friend Anastasia always sleeping in between. We still continue our trip more deeper into the east. Our next sleepover will be at the most eastern part of the whole Arabian Peninsula, the city called Al Had. The eastern coast of Oman is well known for its marine turtles. There is a particular timing of the year for the turtles to lay eggs on the beach during the night. So, I hope we are lucky enough to catch at least one turtle on the beach. Good morning guys, this is our second day in Oman and it's about like 4.40 in the morning. And we're just about to go to, to see Turtle Reserve at the private beach. We just pay eight, eight uh, reals, Omani reals, 
a person just to enter that scene and we're gonna see some real marine turtles guys right now guys here we are at the beach and we found some turtles here just one turtle still remains at the beach the turtle is still laying eggs in a kind of uh, sand hole like a kind of a nest but look at this beach guys and look at this morning very nice to be here a part of seeing the marine creatures it's nice to realize that we are the most eastern part of Oman with the cliff shore and the Indian Ocean and just three of us and nobody is here I can call it freedom I hope you enjoyed this episode, please share this video with your family and friends. Vasily was here, see you in the next video, ciao!